Greetings, everyone, and welcome to MissKey, an interplanetary microblogging platform. MissKey is an open source, decentralized social media platform that is free forever. This is a topic that I'm really excited to cover with you guys because I've mentioned this in a couple of my previous videos. I've wanted to cover MissKey, sign up for MissKey, and experience MissKey for a while, but I had a lot of trouble finding a server that one, I wanted to sign up for, and two, that was going to be an English. Most of Miss Key servers are in various different foreign languages, mostly dominated by Japanese, but I was able to reach out to a small server admin. This is LavaCat Social, so the web address is lavacat.dns.army, and they were generous enough to go ahead and let me sign up and use their server as an example for this video. So for those that do end up heading over to Lava Cat Social to sign up for an account or you just wanna check out their server, I highly encourage you to go over to their support page and you know show them a little bit of love. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's actually check out what Miss Key is all about. All right, so we have now landed on the main page for Lava Cat Social, which is still the Miss Key software, as I previously mentioned. And this is what attracted me to Miss Key right off the rip, was all of this floating images, all of these different little posts that are just kind of scrolling over here, all of these animated icons. This looked like a ton of fun. And I was really disappointed when I couldn't find a server to sign up for that was in English. So let's go ahead, let's not waste any more time, and we're gonna go ahead and do this. But, ah, as I mentioned in my Mastodon video, Every server is going to have rules that you're gonna to wanna to follow. So let's go ahead and review these rules real quick and just make sure that, you know, everything is lined up the way we want it to be. All of these rules seem logical to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the agree button. Oh, let's actually take a look at this. There are some points to be aware of when using services which use MISKEY. Due to its decentralized nature, once uploaded, data is not guaranteed to be deleted from all other servers, even if deleted. However, this is also true for the internet in general. Even if a post is created as private, there is no guarantee that the other servers will treat it as private as well. So please use caution when posting personal or confidential information. However, this is also true for the internet in general. Account deletion is an intensive process that may take a long time. In cases where there is a large amount of uploaded data, it may not be possible to delete the account. Some servers may cover operating costs through advertising revenue. Additionally, ad blockers often mistakenly block content or features that are completely unrelated to advertising, which can interfere with the client operation and prevent you from using MISKEY properly. Therefore, please use MISKEY with ad blockers and similar features turned off. Now, I'm not going to say that you need to follow that last one. If anybody has noticed, I currently run an ad blocker, but I absolutely agree to these first three points here. These are really important. Some of your Fediverse accounts cannot be deleted, so please be extremely cautious with the type of content that you post on any of these federated sites, because once that data becomes federated, that's kind of the whole point, right? It gets pushed out to all of these different servers so that others can interact with your posts without having to be on the same website or using the same software as you have been using. So again, really wanna emphasize this point. Please be extremely careful with the content that you post on the Fediverse. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and continue signing up. And we're gonna go ahead, and I'm actually gonna use all of my real stuff this time. So we're gonna go with numbers can be fun. We'll go ahead and we'll put my real email address in here. Numbers can be fun at protonmail.com. All right, and now I have a password. So let's go ahead and we'll do the captcha. All right, so we are fully verified and now we finally have an opportunity to explore what MISKEY is all about. Now, as those who have watched any of my other previous videos, I have covered Firefish and Katadon, which are forks of MISKEY, but this is the original. This is the one that I am the most excited about and this is the one I missed out on. And I, I gotta tell you right now, right off the bat, this looks very, very familiar to me. So I'm already feeling very comfortable. But let's go ahead and explore some of these features again, just for those who are unfamiliar with any of my previous videos on the topic. 
So you're going to have a home feed here. This home feed is just for anybody that you follow. It's for any of the posts that you make. You will see them show up here on your home feed. Now you also have a local feed. So this is for anybody that is local on the server. So anybody who posts here, anybody who's part of this community, you will see all of their feeds appear in this local tab. You then have this social tab over here. This is gonna be a combination of both your local feed and your home feed. And this is actually my favorite way to explore the Fediverse overall because I can see not only the posts that are from the people that I follow, but I also like to participate in the community that the server has. I wanna to get to know the people that I'm sharing this space with. So I, I really do appreciate viewing all their posts and talking about the topics that they're interested in. Over here, you're gonna see global, which should be a pretty familiar feature to anybody who's used Mastodon in the past. This is just going to pull all the global posts that are getting shared across all the different federated servers that this server is currently federated with. We do have our list here. All right, so one of the cool things that you have here are antennas. Now, well, let's go ahead and create an antenna just so I can show you what it does. But all it really does is it listens for keywords and you can exclude certain keywords, right? So numbers can be fun and let's say i want to disinclude or exclude i guess would be the correct way to say it sucks so any post that say numbers can be fun sucks right it'll only show me the username but if somebody says i suck i'm not going to see that post because you know i i i don't want the criticism i'm just kidding please please send me constructive criticism <laughs> anyways moving on let's go ahead and let's take a look at, at the rest of this website oh look at that i got an achievement that's awesome all right so we did switch the ui before they do have the default the deck and the classic we're currently looking at the deck mode right now that just adds in a bunch of columns again i i think i mentioned this before i'm not a big fan of that this also is very similar to the way that mastodon has everything set up and this is fine if you like everything kind of like neatly centered into the screen but i've mentioned before the the default really appeals to me i like having the extra space i very likely will apply a background here so having that extra space to be able to view my background is something that I really like. Another thing here that I, I did not notice over on Firefish or on the other Fediverse sites that I covered in the past was the ability to actually modify this, which is actually really cool. So what can we add here? Select a widget, profile, instance information, sticky notes, notification, timeline, calendar, RSS, reader, ticker, trending, clock, activity, photos, digital clock, Unix clock, federation, instance cloud. Oh my God, we could just sit here forever going over all of these. There is a lot. There is a lot of different widgets. I'm not gonna explore all of them, but I am very interested to know what the instance information is. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at a couple of these. Okay, all right, so this just gives us like where we're at. Pretty cool. So. We're on Lava Cat server right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at Timeline. What is that? Okay, this, so that's just your home feed. That's pretty cool. Let's look at, ooh, I kinda wanna see what Unix clock looks like. That's actually really cool. I, I, I like that a lot. I, I would def, I'm, I'm keeping that one actually. That, that, you can go right there. That is so awesome. All right, I actually really love that. Uh, what else do we got? Federation, okay, what's this? Okay, all right, so it's just a, a small list of who they're currently federated with. I doubt this is everyone, but I can tell you right now um, that, well, that's a Mastodon server, that's a Miss Key server, and that is an Ice Shrimp server just right off the rip. So it's pretty cool, they do seem to be federated. I think this is only really displaying the ones that are maybe they share the most post with but I, I i'm not too certain about that one very nice all right let's take a look at one more and we'll look at online users we'll see how many people are online uh, there's only two users online so i imagine it's just me and probably the server admin as i mentioned this is an extremely small server so if this is something that you're interested in i definitely encourage you to sign up all right so let's take a look at a couple of the other features so the next is clips and clips are a great way to keep your content organized so if you wanted to say for example mastodon users you can just organize all of that into different clips and then you can go over to your timeline and you can add them to that clip and there's the clipped post that i added we can go ahead and we'll unclip this but it's just a, another way to organize your favorite post or favorite content that you find on the fediverse and as you can see here, I've been having issues uploading my avatar. This is a bug that I'm familiar with. So if you want to get around this bug, if you're experiencing this bug, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click keep original image. So if we go ahead and upload the original image, yes, there it is. My avatar is now finally 
uploaded. Hey, there we go. Now I've got my avatar. Sweet, now we're getting things set up. So let's go ahead over to themes. I'm not a big fan of the light mode, so let's go ahead and get a nice dark theme going because this is starting to hurt my eyes. Oh yeah, much better. And let's go ahead, we'll go with, ooh, green, orange, dark. Eh, I'm only okay with that. Ooh, yes, all right. So one of the last things I wanted to cover now that we've gone through and we've explored Miski a little bit is import, export, and account migration. So as I mentioned, you are capable with any of these softwares to not only download your content, you can bring it with you along the way. And any of the content that you downloaded from any of your previous profiles can be imported and exported right through here. As I mentioned, just a couple of clicks of the button and you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you want to migrate your account, you can do that. And if you want to delete Mastodon.social, for example, you can go ahead and set that up over on Mastodon and point over to the Lava Cat server and it will automatically transfer anybody who looks you up on your Mastodon handle over to your new profile. It's actually a really cool thing. So I encourage everybody, if you are gonna switch, make sure you download all of your content and set up your migrations properly. So that way people can find you and your content stays familiar. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. Miski is a lot of fun. It's very similar to some of the other Fediverse software I've covered on this channel. So I encourage everybody to not only check out Miski because this is awesome, but I highly encourage everybody to go ahead and give Lava Catch server a try if you're looking for an English Miss Key server. This place has been pretty cool so far, so hop on over and show Lava Cat a little bit of love. I'm sure they would appreciate it. As always, my name is Numbers Can Be Fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope everyone out there has a wonderful day.